Bojack Horseman is a compelling character, and maybe one of the most compelling characters I have ever seen. The first time you see him, he is openly admitting to being drunk on national television, and the last time you see him, you're bawling your eyes out. It is good to be here, Charlie. Sorry I was late to traffic. It's I... really no problem. I parked in a handicapped spot. I hope that's okay. You parked in I'm a... I'm sorry, disabled spot. Is that the proper nomenclature? You instantly know he's a bad person. Er, horseman. But at the same time, in just a few sentences, you are completely invested in him. So... What makes him such an interesting character that evokes such emotion from the viewer, and how can you make your characters this compelling? Well, there's no one right answer, but there are a few general ideas that I try to follow, and that seem to be widely accepted among other writers as well. Characters should be likable. Now, likable doesn't always mean that the character is a good person. Likeable can mean a lot of things, such as the character is funny, intelligent, honorable, magical, or even a liar. Likeable doesn't necessarily have to be good. Ask yourself the question, what about this character is intriguing? With those first few sentences, Bojack Horseman is instantly witty and entertaining, while also alluding to a more complex character. The viewer is engaged with his character immediately. Believe it or not, Audiences can be very invested in characters that are not the standard definition of good, so long as your character has a redeemable quality, Superman. Actually, that brings us to our next point. Characters should have at least one redeemable quality. This can go in either direction. If your character is currently flawless, give them a flaw. If your character is currently only flaws, give them at least one good trait. However, don't overfocus on giving your characters a whole bunch of traits, as traits tend to be superficial, but make sure there is at least one redeemable thing about them, as this will make the character more interesting. Bojack Horseman is a very, very flawed character. He makes many mistakes, but as Raphael Bob Waxberg, creator of the show, says, If I can understand why they're doing the things they're doing, what they want, and what they're doing to get it, that's what makes a character likable to me. A character should feel understandable in their vulnerabilities. Bojack Horseman is redeemable in that you understand why he does the things he does, and on top of that, he has moments of being caring and insightful. Characters should have a fundamental weakness. Something that is eating at the character in such a fundamental way that it is ruling that character's life. The entire story is the solving of that problem, and the way they will solve that problem is by going after a goal. The character doesn't know that this goal will solve their problem, but in the end it will. In simple terms, plot comes from character. You create a goal for your character that will eventually force that character to deal with their weakness. Now this can happen multiple times in a story, and over the course of a story that goal can change, but on a fundamental level, plot comes from character. Bojack Horseman has a few fundamental weaknesses. He is insecure and lonely, he has a desperate need for approval, and has a constant guilt over his own actions. Most of the things that happen in the story come from his actions, or as a result of one of his many goals. Almost none of his goals are pursued with the knowledge that he will change, and while maybe he doesn't change into having a happily ever after, he does change. The characters may never find true happiness. That's okay. Finding equanimity and equilibrium is also a great thing to aspire to. Sometimes that's the closest we get to hope and happiness. Consider passive versus active goals. Passive goals are things the character does in response to another event, while active goals have the character making plans to do something in the future. Active goals are not a response, but rather the cause. Characters should make active goals, and they should have agency. Your character isn't Siri, they don't just respond to the actions of other characters, they can do actions on their own. As a final bit of advice, consider these two questions. What does this character want, and how do they plan to get it? And what does this character stand to lose by not achieving their goal? Stakes don't have to be end of the world high, but there should be stakes. Hopefully these tips can help you in creating more compelling characters. 
I'll leave links to all of the resources I used to gather this information in the description. Thank you so much for watching my croutons, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.